not feel my skin. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Ange Endeavor. Ange here. I hope you're all doing well out there. I know I'm doing pretty well. It's another beautiful sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest. And today's vlog is going to be a shorty, but a goodie. It's going to be my very first corn harvest. I know that um, there is one ear of corn for sure that I can harvest. And then there's a second corn that I'm pretty sure, but not absolutely sure. And then there's a third one I'm not so sure, but we're gonna harvest it anyways. So um, I'm excited because, you know, it's, it's my first time ever doing this. You know, I've never ever planted corn before. I've never harvested corn before. And it's quite nice uh, to know that we can do that. And I'm, I'm really, really happy that it's still summer. You know, um, I hope that we have one of those summers that stretch on through uh, September, you know, and kind of like have one of those, what do they call it, um, Indian summers. That would be really, really nice. Since I figured from the front end of summer, we didn't get the heat and the sunshine I would have liked to have had. It started late, like by mid-July, finally, you know, uh, we like by July 16th or that weekend, we finally had like real summer weather. And uh, so I'm hoping Mother Nature will, you know, throw us a bone or toss us a bone and give us a little on the back end of it. So with that said, let's go out and harvest some corn. Okay. This is the corn we're going to harvest. And I checked the inside of this. I opened this up the other day and they said if you open it up and you poke at it and it's a little bit soft with um, fluid coming out, then it's ready. And I did, and mm, I'm tasting the juice, it's a little bit sweet. So I'm going to try and one-handedly take this off. And what I heard they said to do is just to, just go ahead and just rip it off. So we're gonna try and do that. Boy. I think I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. Got it. All right, now time for the second corn. Okay, so this corn here, it looks like it's ready to roll. I opened it up and checked it out. So I'm gonna take this one off um, and I am going to have to put the phone down in order to do this. So, um, so I'll be right back. All right, corn number two. Okay, we're gonna go in for this one. Let's see. I think that's done, so let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna try it with the phone. We'll see. Uh, let me do this, kind of brace it. Uh-oh, uh I broke the stock. Oh rats. There it is. Corn number three. I broke the stalk. Oh no. Oh no. I broke the stalk removing that other corn. So well we'll just have to let that be. And then there's another one growing here and um, I don't think it's ready yet. But in any case, you know, that's that. It just is what it is. Oh, well, let's see. And let's check this one. I think I'm gonna do this one. Doesn't feel like it has a bunch of kernels, but I think I'm, I might harvest it. Let's see. Maybe in a couple of days, I'll harvest that one and that one and uh that guy that i broke poor little thing let's see this one i don't know 
Uh, maybe I'll harvest that. I think I'm gonna, let's see. All right, there's four there. I'm gonna take them inside and uh, see what we got going on underneath those husks. All right, so here is the corn. And what I thought I would do is I would shuck it and then cook it and see what it's like. Yum. But before I do so, here are still, I still have more zucchinis growing, but look at these beauties. This one I just plucked yesterday. And you know what I was told or I heard is that with zucchini, you could leave them um, on the sh on the out on the counter for a long time that they don't go bad. Um, this one woman said that she had hers out for like six months and it cooked up just fine. So um, I think if I put it in the fridge, it might not last as long. I don't know, but so I don't know. We'll see what happens. And uh, here, here we have my um, cucumbers. Now, the cucumber didn't quite come out as much as I, you know, a lot of them came out like this or like this. Um, this is my first like real straight one, but you know, we've got this real oddball looking guy, but I'm still gonna eat them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try them out and see how they are. Now, I've already cut one open um, and it was actually quite good. So, you know, don't look, let the looks fool you. You know, this is the kind of stuff, like, they're not going to be selling that at the grocery store, you know. So, anyway, so that's that. Um, let's get those guys. Let's get these guys uh, in the pot. Okay, now it is time to shuck these guys and see what's underneath. So I don't have a tripod. As I have mentioned, I need to go get one. But I thought what I would do is just put the camera down here. Okay, so I think that that's good. Now um, I will do the best that I can to uh, show you. There we go. We're going to peel this one away. I can't believe it after all these months of growing. These are strong little husks. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's going on under here. Well, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. For my first one, let's see. Gotta break that off. So this is what we have. It didn't um, pollinate, obviously, up there, but most of the most of the kernels are formed, and uh, yep, it's still tender. So I think I think that's going to be a good one. Okay, so let's let's do corn corn number two. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's on under corn number two. It's kind of like the price is right, right? What's behind door number two? Let's see. Okay. I feel like this is Christmas or something, you know? I feel like I'm opening up a present here. Let's see here. This is really exciting. Ooh, these are some nice big fluffy kernels. Wow, look at that so far. It didn't uh, pollinate at the top, but the rest of it, boy, that looks good. Now I hand pollinated these as well because um, I heard that you should do that in case, especially since it was such a small crop of corn. But um, yeah, it, it looks pretty good, look at that. Now anywhere they say that there's a gap, that is a corn silk that didn't get pollinated. So, but yeah, I popped that. Yep, these are nice and juicy. Mm-hmm, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna pop that off at the end. 
Oh man, I think these are gonna be good. They're little, but they're good. They're, they're nice looking. Now, these, who knows what these are gonna be. Look at that, just beautiful. All right, let's see. came out nice too. Look at that. Not bad. Still didn't pollinate up at the top, but the rest of it looks really, really good. Let's see. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to taste the end of this. There's a little corn uh kernel there. I'm gonna try that out. Mmm. Mmm, that is nice and sweet. Mmm, yum. Mmm, okay. So now, last but not least, this little tiny one. Okay. Yeah, this one, not as good as the others. It is. It wasn't pollinated as well. And, uh, you know, it's still still ready for harvest. But we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut that off and um, let's see what the, the kernel tastes like. Mm. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, so looks like that's what a really, like hardly, uh, for, you know, so that's what it looks like when it's only partially fertilized. It doesn't form the little kernel corns on there, on the cob. But we will eat this nonetheless. Here they are, all of them together. Not too bad for a first harvest. And now, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna trim the ends and then, um, and then put them in the pot, in a pot of boiling water for 15 minutes. All right, so I've got some water and uh, we're gonna wait for that to boil. And then we are going to put these little corns in there and boil for about 15 minutes um, or so. That's what I have seen online uh, that they say you want to do is uh yeah boil the water and then put the corns in there boil for 15 minutes and then you're done here are the corn remnants aren't those beautiful husks absolutely gorgeous all right the water is boiling and now i got my uh trusty tongs and we shall place the lovely ears inside like so, and we are, there we go, ready to roll. Here we go. We're gonna do the timer, 15 minutes and counting. Right, the corn is done. And now we are going to place this corn onto that paper towel with a plate underneath it. So here we go. Looks good. Looks really good. but not least, the little one. There it is. And I am going to put a little bit of butter on it so I have my, my butter stick ready. And it's kind of hard to do 
this with um, one hand, you know, I really just need to bite the bullet and order myself up a uh, tripod. That would make things so much easier. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish buttering this, and then I'm gonna put some pepper and salt. I ha have some there, and I'm gonna put it on here. And then when I do, we'll come back. All right, there we go. All buttered and salted and peppered. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's give this a try. Here we go. Mmm. Not bad. It's a little bit sweet. Not super sweet like I thought or hoped it would be, but it's not bad at all. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. You know how corn can be really starchy and have no flavor? Well, this has some flavor to it. It's quite nice. Not too bad for a uh, first try. That's it for me here in the great Pacific Northwest. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I have. And I know I'll be seeing you again really soon. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everyone. And we will see you later. Bye. I just wanted to say that it's about like two hours after I ate that one ear of corn. And uh, I went back and I ate another ear of corn and it was really delicious. I mean, it was sweet. And um, so I just wanted to say that that corn came out pretty doggone good. And I think next year I'm gonna try it again. I might do things a little bit different, but Next year, I think I'm definitely going to do this, do uh, corn all over again. It was fun and it was worth it. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Feel my skin.